guys, it's Kelly. Hey, this is page three of my Mixed Media 28 page series that I'm doing, and I'm using Designs by Rin Stamp, so it's also a project for her. I hope you like it. Very, very colorful this time. So I sped it up, I got it down to nine minutes. So we're gonna fly through this. So I brought down all my distress inks and a piece of cardstock paper that I had just laying around and decided that I was going to do lots of bright happy colors and um, the distress inks aren't usually you know, they can be bright and happy but there was you know they're a little distressed so but uh, you can still get a Skittles flare Skittles color pattern going and that's kinda what I did it's inspired by Skittles I happen to love them Skittles and Starburst <laughs> but anyway so I'm using spice marmalade peeled paint uh, peacock feathers and faded jeans and then I think I used some barn door as well or fire brick red one of the one of the two reds I want to say it's barn door or maybe fire brick I can't remember but one of the two reds and then I'm just going along the outside I don't know why I decided to do that but I did with the uh, faded jeans distress ink with my blending tool and it's a wet ink so you gotta dry it real well sprayed it with water and then dried it and I like the little speckles that when you spray it with water I like how that that effect that that gets so and that is the uh, moth stamp that I'm using I love that one that one is called it's eluding me for some reason and I just had it Lucine Lucine. I'm not sure how she says that. I'll have a link if you guys are interested in doing this one. It's very cool. So my idea was to just have a really colorful background, stamp it on there, fussy cut it out, and then kind of play with it. Wasn't sure what I was going to do. But I just tried to kind of get the colors to kind of you know different shades of blue different shades of green across each stamp that I did but it didn't work out that well but they still turned out nice so I just wanted a nice color variation because my idea was to just have them kind of scattered all over the page and it's a small page to work with but it it works so cleaning my stamp and of course I was stamping that with archival And after I made sure that my ink dried, I don't know how many times I haven't waited. So I um, added another coat of gesso to that page because I didn't want it to show through. But I spared you all of that. So then I decided to use my Distress Ink on the page as well. But with the gesso, as you might already know, it really lightens it up. And it wasn't the vibrant color that I really wanted to use. I really wanted a nice, vibrant, Skittle-like, taste the rainbow <laughs> background color. And it wasn't cutting it. So, and I kept trying. I was like, hmm. Maybe darker colors? No. Maybe wet it a little? No. So I busted out my gelatos. So, and I just kept with the same kind of color palette but I wanted them bright and that was exactly what I needed and I just used my finger to uh, rub them in I think that's the best way to really take advantage of the colors and then I, I thought well maybe I'll blend it a little a little bit with a baby wipe and now nah, that wasn't working for me I liked the nice bold bright colors of it so I've got some orange some red some yellow um, three different shades of blue including the metallic blue And I can't give you the color names, it's just the, I mean, it's either blue or metallic, but it's the dark blue, baby blue, and the metallic blue. Because these are gel sticks and not gelatos. And then once you squirt some water on them, just really fine mist of water on them afterwards, they get even more vibrant. I love that about them. So I decided to use the Leafy Branch stamp from Rin's collection. I love that stamp. It is the most versatile one, I think. I love them all, but that's one of my favorites because it can go with pretty much any kind of nature 
you know, earthy page that you've got going. <clears throat> and you can use just portions of it or all of it. And then I am also using the five stuff. What is that one called? Trickling water. And that's just one set. It's just a five drops all in one piece. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Then I said I need a little bit more leaves here and there, so I just kept it off the block and just randomly... That wasn't random. I actually thought about it and looked at the stamp and decided where I wanted to put it. So, and then drying it up real good. And then that is my white jelly roll pen. And it wasn't working very well over the gelatos and the, you know, gesso underneath. It really wasn't working very well. So, I tried something else. <laughs> You know, the white pen dilemma is still weighing heavy on me, <laughs> on my artist's shoulders. <laughs> Can't find a good one. And there's been some really good recommendations, and I just haven't had a chance to get to them. So what I did was I brought out my very, very fine, fine brush. And then I thought, well, if this Sharpie marker doesn't work, you know, then I'll just use the brush to, to spread it on. And, of course, it didn't work. I used the brush. And you might be thinking, oh my god, you just put Sharpie on your new brush. Why did you do that? 91% rubbing alcohol takes it right off. So here, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I think my camera switched, and it's a Sony bloggy. And if you lay it flat, it makes the video super small like this. So it has to be angled. So I think with my new uh, Gorillapod tripod, I think it flipped down a little bit. And it made it really small, so I'm sorry. I know you guys can't see it, but what I'm doing is re-stamping the Lucene stamp and uh, for the shadows for where I'm going to place the fussy cut um, moths. So, and I've got some just, like, I cut just one little piece of a wing, so it looks like they're all just flying off the page, and that's that's what I wanted to do. I liked it like that. So I want it to look like just a you know just these moss were just fluttering all around with a real beautiful background so and I just used Mylene's tacky glue didn't take me very long at all to do this page but it sure was fun the fussy cutting I think took me the longest time a really quick way to just you know I know there's a lot of people who are like how'd you get your background like that we'll do your background first then stamp on it and then cut it out and a lot of people already know that I realize that but some people don't so I mentioned those things so there it is and then I just cut out the extras and then that is a Tim Holtz thing that I got from Joanne's and it's got all kinds of words in it and I thought well that's easy I'll use that so and I started off first of course I, I just you know hit it on the edges with black soot but I started off with just take flight at first on the right and then it was too open on the left so then I was like hmm, what else could I do and I changed it to be creative and take flight and I liked it so and I know it's hard to see guys I'm sorry I do have a solution for my videos so and here are the still pictures of it so go check out Rin's stamps. She's got amazing stamps and really good deals. She's got some 50% off deals this week. So check that out. She's got great stencils too. I can't wait to play with those. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.